One senses the presence of a sigil of permission. One knows not why you have come, though the sincerity of your offering is clear. Hence, you shall be granted an opportunity. Find your way through mine abode, and you shall receive an audience with the Adeptus whom you see. Rain outlines your fate. Platform is moving! So that's what this button is for!
One is most impressed. The path that leads through this abode defies those of ordinary abilities. The one before you is the Adeptus Cloud Retainer. Now speak of the matter which brings you here. You surmise correctly. This place did one south build, as did one design the mechanisms within. In fact, even Gui Zhang and Rex Lapis themselves found one's technological accomplishments to be worthy of commendation. This place is huge, and there are so many mechanisms! Do you really have this whole place to yourself? What's it even for? Did you build it as your private mechanism workshop or something? It's just like the stories say. The Adepti leave the human world, find somewhere to go be a hermit, and then they research and invent all these amazing things! One is simply not partial to the tedium of social interaction, and wish to find some peace and quiet. Find it one did. Shortly after which, you arrived bearing your sigil of permission. But enough. State the matter which brings you here at once. You have disturbed the tranquility of this place for long enough. Rex Lapis. Assassinated? How can this be? Such a heinous crime! Who would dare? The notion is so preposterous as to be unbelievable! One shall have to verify the truth of the matter independently. Perhaps one shall quash Liyue first, then convene with the other Adepti. Wait, what? Did you just say squash Liyue Harbor? Are you seriously gonna wipe out the whole city? Only a response of sufficient magnitude can negate the possibility of further incidents. It is as you say. We have protected Liyue Harbor under the leadership of Rex Lapis for 37 centuries. But in the face of this coup, by nefarious actors, Exceptional measures must be taken. Yikes! Quick! You gotta think of something! She wants to squash Liyue flat! And it doesn't seem like she's bluffing! Exactly what Paima was gonna say! We made all that delicious food and gave every last bit of it to you! We were hoping you might help Liyue out, not wipe Liyue out! Or at least let's, you know, discuss it first? Can't hurt for you to get a second opinion. Contract? A cruel irony that you should appeal to the notion after the merciless murder of the god of contracts himself. The people of Liyue seem quite content to dispense with their contracts. They are quite adept at taking that which is composed of black and white and turning it gray. Nevertheless, since you come here in the name of contracts, far be it from one to abandon one's own contractual obligations. Least of all when you come bearing a sigil of permission. <sighs> Rex Lapis infused these sigils with a deptal power when he first cast them. That power once aided humans in battle. Most of the sigil's power has long since worn off. It is but a keepsake now. This keepsake cannot be taken as proof of your trustworthiness. One must investigate the claims that you make independently. This, no doubt, is Mooncarver's very reason for summoning us. Your audience with the Adeptus before you is now concluded. Leave at once.
Have mercy, almighty oh Adeptus. I beg you, show mercy upon me and my brother. Spare our lives. Who are you? What's going on? We asked you first. Oh. You enjoy safe passage in Joyun Karst. It can only mean one thing. You must be Adepti messengers. Sent here to rescue me and my brother. What is he talking about? Oh, have mercy, mighty messengers of the illuminated Adepti. I beg you to save us. My brother and I. We only came here because our family is poor, and we heard tell of treasures hidden in the amber of Mount Hulao. It was stupid of us. But all we wanted to do was find enough treasure to sell and support our family. We followed the path up the mountain, but suddenly, the amber it swallowed up my brother Li Dang. I ran away and made it this far before it dawned on me. We were trespassers in the abode of the Adepti. And this was our punishment. I had no idea how to rescue my brother, so I just started praying for the Adepti to have mercy right here on the spot. And now, that long last, two messengers come to my aid. What? We're not Adepti messengers. We just want to find the Adepti like everyone else. No, no, no. You, you must be messengers. You have to be. I have no idea which Amber trapped him. Please, you have to rescue him. I beg you, show me some Adepti mercy. Thank you, thank you, almighty oh, messengers of the illuminated Adepti. I promise that we will never be so foolish again. Paimo was gonna ask him about where to find the Adeptus, but... He seems pretty one-track mind about rescuing his brother right now. Hmm... So... He said that Li Deng got trapped in amber somewhere on Mount Hulao, and that they were following the path the whole way up. So let's... <coughs> what... What happened? You, you rescued me? Oh, thank you. Oh, and have you seen my brother? His name is Li Deng. We were climbing the mountain together. I just hope he didn't get trapped in Amber too. He made it to the top. That means he should be okay. Oh, thank you. I will head up to find my brother now. Here's hoping I don't run into any more Amber on the way. Thank you for rescuing my brother, O oh mighty messengers of the illuminated Adepti. What? No. I mean, like everyone else, we've heard that there's an Adeptus living in Mount Hulao. But regular folks like us would never have the chance to meet them. No way. Unlike you guys, you're Adepti messengers. So it's a whole different story. Anyway, we have trespassed in the realm of the Adeptus for long enough. We should get going. Thank you, mighty Adepti messengers. Yes, thank you. Boy, it'd be super helpful if we actually were Adepti messengers. Cause it seems like this Adeptus has got a real temper problem. But it's not like we've done anything wrong, so... Oh. Who dares trespass on my mountain? Foolish mortal, come forth and receive your punishment. You intrude upon the sanctity of Mount Hulao. You destroy the amber of my mountain. And you free a thief whose freedom is not yours to give. The thief's ignorance was an affront to the Adepti. But your actions are an abomination of the highest order! Wait! We can explain! Mooncarver! 
trusted a mere mortal as his messenger? Is this a sigil of permission? One is surprised to find such things still exist in the mortal realm. In the beginning, Rex Lapis cast them for the mortals with his own hand. Few were made then, and thousands of years on, fewer still remain. Speak. One shall listen to the matter which brings you here. Then one shall verify the truth thereof. You would be wise to speak the truth. For Liyue is not so far from here that one would be easily deceived. Rex Lapis... assassinated? At the right of dissension? What mortal in Liyue, nay in all the world, would conspire to commit such foul treason? Or perhaps the more pertinent question is, what power in this world could aspire to achieve it? Rex Lapis charged the Adepti with the protection of Liyue, and we have always honored this duty. As the people have prospered, so have we gradually withdrawn into the mountains. Indeed, this was a gesture of goodwill towards humanity. But now, alas, Rex Lapis, gone. Traveler, of the matter you have relayed, one has become aware. One now knows why Moon Carver has sent for us. Once one has dealt with certain matters here that require my attention, one shall convene with the other Adepti. Paimon can! Adepti always have magical powers in storybooks. Seems it's true in real life, too. You know, like how grass is actually Adepti hair, and rivers are actually Adepti saliva. There must be something similar going on with the Amber. Your nonsense knows no bounds. This Amber is produced by a flower that one has planted here, called the Karst Crawler. The majority of the plant is hidden underground. When stepped on, it produces Amber to trap the invader. After taking up residence here, one planted many karst crawlers to ensure that the tranquility of the mountain would remain undisturbed. Over the years, they have helped to prevent many disturbances. But in the process, they have also trapped many curious things. Oh, so the amber is alive? Correct. Thus, one may not leave this place in its current state for fear of the risk to innocent lives in one's absence. One will depart as soon as one has attended to this matter. One trusts that the manner of your departure will be swifter in nature. To the blind, everything may not be as it appears. A sigil of permission? You came prepared. Though this only prevents me from hurting you myself. Doesn't stop you from getting hurt in other ways. Uh... Paimon doesn't get it. Too much contact with our world is breaking the rules. 
Mortal souls are not as robust as those of Adepti, nor can your blood carry this level of Adeptal energy. It's for your own good. Leave. Now. Wait a sec! We came here to... Ugh! Paimon's... peeved! All he does is think about himself! Paimon wants to give him an ugly nickname! But if you tick off an Adeptus, the only thing you'll probably ever find in treasure chests is cabbages. Ugh. <sighs> Guess we should go ask the boss lady of the inn about just how she manages to talk to Adepti. Oh, you've already met Xiao. Not bad. Not often he's in a good enough mood to agree to see people. That's his good mood? Oh yes. The Adepti are very hard to come by. Many people go their whole lives praying to them, never once actually getting to see one. When the Geo Archon built Liyue, he borrowed power from the Adepti. But most of them only know how to protect Liyue by fighting. So for many millennia, it has instead been humans who have led Liyue. You really know a lot, huh, boss lady? <laughs> it's not boss lady, it's just boss. Anyway, seeing as you have the favor of the Adepti, things should be a lot easier. Well, if you want to know my opinion, if you keep Xiao in a good mood, things should be okay. Good mood? I can't really imagine what a good mood looks like for that vigilant Yaksha. <laughs> Will be interesting, won't it? Come to think of it, I've never seen him smile either. How about this? You go see the chef for a bowl of almond tofu and a plate of whatever it is you're best at making. Almond tofu is one of the few human foods Xiao likes. The other dish is up to you. Up to us, eh? Hmm, what do you think you're the best at cooking? Wow, never heard of that one. Paimon wants to try it. But if we're going to be cooking for an Adeptus, perhaps a satisfying salad would be the safer choice. Can't you see I'm on a break, kid? Scram! Scram! Whoa, this chef guy's service is about as good as that Wagner guy's back in Mondstadt. <sighs> I see. If it's for the boss, then guess I don't have a choice now, do I? But my heart's not really in it right now. Not enough to make a dessert as painstaking as almond tofu. And why is that? A fencer's hand must be steady. So too must the hand of a chef. But my hands... I'm... They're not steady. Because, uh, a, a traveler once told me that this inn... is haunted. And then just now, just now, in the kitchen, I saw something. Something not right. This chef looks so intimidating, but speak of ghosts and he becomes weak. I keep thinking. Even Wangshu Inn isn't safe. I can't keep a steady hand for something like almond tofu. All right, in the name of high quality almond tofu, we need to go check this kitchen out. Doesn't seem to be anything. Why 
What? Uh, uh, you saw it too. There really is a ghost. What? How could I? Uh... Okay, so he's useless now. What do we do? Forget it. Let's just go see the boss lady again. <laughs> Scared of something so insignificant. Hard to believe he was once a notorious bandit. You don't seem that afraid of ghosts, boss lady. Gods and ghosts. I've seen it all before. Come to think of it, others don't seem to know there's an adeptus here at the inn except for the boss lady. Shh. Say any more and you'll be divulging my little secret. Right. Best you two be off. Go see to it that that little ghost doesn't go scaring anybody else. Not that I'm ordering you around. It's like the Adeptus said. Mortal souls are not as robust as those of the Adepti. So as not to be harmed when dealing with the Adepti, you can start by practicing with that ghost. There is a calligraphy painting in the inn known as the Witness Sigil. It's been in circulation for over a thousand years. Go take a look at it. Once you have, Look for a place outside where you can see the exact same witness sigil formation. What? You, you really got the ghost to promise to stop haunting the inn? <laughs> wow, you really are something. I am in your debt. Please, wait a moment. I'll make you the smoothest, silkiest bowl of almond tofu. <laughs> My hands are steadier than ever now that she's gone.
you two again. Wait, don't go disappearing again. What's this? It's your favorite almond tofu, as well as this distant traveler's best dish, a satisfying salad. Quick, tell him everything before he finishes eating. Rex Lapis. How could this be? I can't imagine it. Though times have changed, I've never imagined a Liyue without him. The ruling Qixing. Just what role have they played in this? <sighs> I will seek Moon Carver, Mountain Shaper, and Cloud Retainer. It is time they too made their decisions. Adepti do not turn on their responsibilities. I have my reasons to not want to be tainted by the mortal realm, but... Responsibilities are responsibilities. Our god is the god of contracts, after all. Wait! Paimon still has one last question! Hmm? That... dusky Ming... she's... When conquering demons, on occasion, you can come across spirits who have never hurt anyone, yet are also not yet able to be moved on. So I asked the innkeeper and the boss if they could keep her here for a time. So really? Wang Xuin was looking after her. Really keeping a wide range of business going, huh? You finally returned. How was your journey to Jueyun Karst? I see. Huh. Moon Carver, Mountain Shaper, Cloud Retainer, Conqueror of Demons. Some of these names have never come up in the intel the Fatui gets hold of. As a returning gift, I too have information for you. Regarding the Archon's passing, the Liyue Qixing's response really has given me food for thought. They've announced that, as the true killer has not yet been found, they are not allowing anyone to pay their respects to the Exuvia. They've even gone so far as to try and cut off information. But with the right of dissension and all, even the Qixing isn't able to keep a lid on things. Exuvia? It's common knowledge in Liyue that Rex Lapis is also an Adeptus. The Geo Archon is also the god of contracts, and is also known as the Exuvia, prime of the Adepti. The mighty and illuminated Adepti of today all signed contracts to protect Liyue way back then. Guess that explains why they're all so focused on Liyue's well-being. Naturally, they both have the responsibility and the aptitude for the job. If the ruling Qixing became unable to perform their duty properly, the Adepti have the right to take corrective action. The Geo Archon spirit has risen, so why would the Qixing hide his vessel? Truly suspicious. reason we came here if the liquid chasing has locked up exuvia and won't let anyone near then our quest to find the seven is already over oh you're trying to find the seven and just why might that be pray tell <laughs> nice answer a knight that gets duped by the fatui would really be no knight at all now would they but i can help you with that too you know Hmm, really? Give me some time. Time to find someone. Someone who can help you break through this stalemate. Huh. <laughs> Truly fascinating. The harder they try to silence the situation, the greater the chaos that erupts. <laughs> if you want to be around to see it all come crashing down, best you stay alive until we next meet, yes?
good cuisine is disgusting. Ugh, we cuisine is inedible. Cuisine is disgusting. 